all my single ladies who needs a man. Um, so just because you're using the word feminism, it doesn't mean that it is feminism, right? And hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, I'm going to be reacting to Candice Owen calls feminist a nightmare. Guys, let's get straight into this. Hi. Hi. Um, I had an honest question for you yeah, because no I feel like your grandfather's story is very inspiring. But you say that people complain so much. But if people didn't complain in those days and fight for people's rights and fight for feminism, which is just equality for women, then you wouldn't be on the stage today and I wouldn't be here asking you this question. And so if people aren't complaining, as you say, and fighting for rights, then nothing would happen. So how can you reconcile these differences? Yeah, so first I wanna say I understand your sentiment because when I was your age, I thought the same thing, that feminism is just about equality. One of the brilliant things that the left does is they repackage words. It's uh, clearly not feminism anymore. Uh, it's designed to actually rip apart women and men, to make women paranoid about men all the time and every industry is controlled by a man and to make being on your own, I wanna do all by myself, as aspirational, right? It's about all my single ladies who needs a man. Um, so just because you're using the word feminism, it doesn't mean that it is feminism, right? And uh, as best evidenced by the fact that they just keep using it when obviously we are on equal footing with men. And unless you can tell me what you're True. not allowed to do as a woman in society that men are allowed to do, right? That would be like a systemic problem that we would need to fix. Um, and so also I want to just remind you that I said earlier that you don't know true history. And when you wake up to the evils of feminism, they were fixated on breaking up the family. They liked death, right? It was, it, they were creating a cult of death um, and destruction everywhere all across the world. And just to be clear, the earliest iteration of a feminist that you're talking about that you deem to be heroic would be Margaret Sanger, that's a first wave feminist, and she hated me, so I feel nothing towards those feminists. And when I look around and I see women who are now crying on TikTok, and they don't understand, they did everything they were supposed to do, and I actually empathize and sympathize with them, and then suddenly they're in the world and they're making $25,000 a year and they can't do bad all by themselves, single ladies, mm -hmm. and actually their bodies start coming online and their biology starts coming online and they actually want to get married and have children, and they're realizing that they've stepped into a design that they were promised was gonna be, as you hear, it's just gonna be great, it's all gonna be amazing, and it actually isn't that amazing. It, I don't know why, what are we even fighting anymore? Men holding doors, that's the new feminist cause? Like no, equality means don't hold the door. No, I, I like when men pay for my meals, love my husband pays for my meals <laughs> recording. I like having the door held for me. Um, in a perfect world, our society was so much better when women were involved every single day with their children before we handed them over to the Department of Education. And so I do not see uh, feminism as having accomplished anything in our society. I actually think it was a nightmare that is being repackaged in our textbooks. So I would implore you to just do a little more research and start with Emma Goldman. Guys, you know when she owned her, like, to be honest, I feel feminism right now, I don't think it's done. It's something that I have, it's more like independence. Like, we've done it and it's, it's good. Like, I don't think there's anything that men have that a woman doesn't, right? We are, you are free to do anything. You are free to become a president. You are free to become a governor. You are free to transition. You are free to do anything you want. And when people feel, still feel like men have some things they don't. If I'm being honest, men have stress. And thinking of... No, the one thing I hate about this, and it's something I argue my style of, is the fact that women claim to... Women claim that I'm a feminist. And they still want to be treated like traditional women. And it's fucked up. Like... You saying your money is my, your money is our money and my money is my money is, it's just stupid. I understand that. I honestly believe that, let's say 70% of men, men could have want to live the traditional life. And, but it's somehow when you see some women wanting some level of respect. I'm not saying she respect women, I'm saying she respects them. But like, for the fact that you want us to, be equal, live our life 50-50. And when it comes to financial part, you back out, or when it comes to anything stressful, you back out, be like, yeah, the man there, yeah, the man there, you take care of it, you take care of it. But like, it, it, it's something else. You're no longer fighting for equal rights anymore. Like, you're fighting for a whole new topic. But I tell you what I think about this video, this like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.